Hey everybody, I'm down at the toy store. It's Monday morning. I'm in early. We're gonna get some eBay items listed. Last night I got three orders for Magnetos. So I need to get these boxed up, get them out, ready to go. Now behind me here, I've got some of the toys I'm gonna start listing this morning. And I plan on getting like 50 to 100 toys listed. I will 100% drop the eBay store link in the description below. I keep forgetting to do that. But today is the day, and I think I felt something on one of these boxes. I thought I felt something. Yep, I did. Is that cracked, or is that just how that is? I think that's cracked. Or maybe that's just how it is with a piece of tape. Okay, so that's cracked. That is going to be no good. If we look right here, that's cracked. Right? I'm not gonna be able to send that out. Just in case somebody's gonna put this up on a shelf, I hope I have another one of these. But I don't have that noted in the description and I don't wanna send that out. All right, I do have another one back there and I have one more listed on eBay and this one will have to stay in the shop. This one looks okay. One thing we definitely wanna strive for, high quality or descriptive listings, right? We wanna be able to put on our listings, cracked bubble, bent corner on the card, take plenty of pictures and I'm glad I found that. I'm glad I did this video because I wouldn't want to ship that out. Okay, three orders in their boxes, ready to go. All right, the next couple items I'm gonna put up, I bought out of a collection, which is something we kinda were doing for a little bit, but now that we're getting so many toys from Target, we're just really not doing collections anymore. We don't have the space for it, and yeah. So the next thing will be this super posable Spider-Man. I'm not sure what line this is from. I'm not a Spider-Man figure expert. I have a little bit of knowledge on action figures, but some of these I'm just not into. So yes, I have no idea. <laughs> or I should say, no, I have no idea. This one says Spider-Man 3, super stretch web. It's in pretty good shape. I noticed it is taped down here. So it's coming off the card. I'll be sure to note that in the listing. Next on the chopping block will be a Spider-Man 2 shoot and slide Spider-Man. This one looks okay, nothing major here. The next toy came out of a Funko buy. It is the Incredible Hulk and Savage Hulk transforming action. It looks in pretty good shape. The card has a little bit of wear. But yes, the Incredible Hulk. While I'm doing this batch of toys, I'm gonna to be posting this Iron Spider Chase Funko Pop pin. I don't even remember having this back there, but it is. And those will be the next couple things I'm gonna get up. I'm probably gonna do most of my listing right up here until we can kind of figure something else out. Now we do have the back room set up as our kind of shipping area. We have a computer, thermal printer, printer, However, the back room's a little bit messy, and since those toys are right here at the front, it just makes sense to price them right here. I'm seeing the Spider-Man 3 running on the bottom end between $50, $60, $70. Here in the shop, we have it pretty high, and I'm wondering if it's come down since we priced it, but with the tape condition, that type of issue on the box. I'm probably gonna list this for like $29. All right, I got five or six things listed and that took me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. So shooting for 100 today might be a stretch, but we're gonna keep plugging along, okay? The next batch of toys I'm gonna list, these Marvel Legends. You have the Spider-Man, 
Then we have another Spider-Man. And then there is a Captain America. And we will top it off with an Iron Man. All of these are sealed. The boxes are in really good shape. Of course, there's gonna be some minor shelf wear, but that's kind of to be expected, right? The tape on this one is broken. Not sure if that's gonna affect the price. It doesn't look like he was taken out or anything. I'll also be throwing up this, oh yeah, macho. This macho man, that was a horrible macho impression. But Macho Man, I'm gonna throw him up. Moving on to the next batch, we're gonna do a little bit of the variety hour. I have a TMNT Eastman and Laird's. It's Laird's, right? Or is it Lard's? Somebody help me out in the comments below. But these boxes do have a little scuff in them. There's some shelf wear, corner wear, and this bubble is crushed. I think I have five of these, I'll probably Start off list in three. Now we have some Indiana Jones action figures. The Indiana Jones Adventure Series. And this will probably list okay, right? No real bad shelf wear. I have four of these. I did have someone that came in from time to time and he would buy all of my Indiana Jones stuff. I haven't seen him in a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and start listing my Indiana Jones figs on the eBay. Are we calling it the eBay or eBay? I don't know. I have quite a few of these Bitsies and they all work. Test them all out before I ship them. Now the bubbles on these very hit or miss. So I will be sure to note that when I'm listing these. I thought it would be fun to throw something like this in the mix. We are looking at a tube of Zuru Mega Gross Minis. I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but I have three or four of these tubes of just this one, but there are lots and lots and lots of these tubes with the Miniverse stuff in them. I don't know if they're gonna be worth anything. I just brought it up here. I wanna scan it and we'll see what it looks like. We're gonna be listing one of the big dogs. This is a masterpiece movie series, Transformers. This is the MPM 14 Bone Crusher. And he will go up today. Now his box is a little scuff. So depending on what I find price wise, this might be going for quite the discount. And I'm gonna see what it's all about. I've got some more items to show everybody, but as I was making this video, I had this Spider-Man here listed at, let me pull it up. I had it listed at $39.99 and it sold while I was making the video. So if you're watching this video, hey, the Marvel Legends Spider-Man is gone. I will get him boxed up today and in the mail. We are really going to strive to get our toys boxed up the same day and shipped if possible. Now that this is sold, let's move on to another batch of toys. And I'm gonna say this again, it takes a lot longer to go through and list these things than I thought. So yes, it's kind of a slow process. Let's move on to the next batch. I will be putting up some Joes just because I think I saw a comment about Joes. I can't remember exactly but I wanna throw up some Joes for everybody and I might throw up a few of the smaller Joes just to have them on the page. A couple Joes. Something I thought would be a little bit fun to throw up. We have some advent calendars. This is a Pokemon Funko holiday calendar. We will throw this up and I just wanna to reiterate to everybody, we are going to try to have some of the lowest prices on eBay. We aren't necessarily gonna go for collector prices. Our object is always burn and turn. So just be on the lookout for that when I post the store link today. We get this overstock in, it's been beat up. If you've been watching the videos for a while, you see how it's shipped to us. It comes in big containers. They just get chucked in there and we pull them out and try to patch them up the best we can. That's kind of a big deal. We wanna make sure we're putting everything 
in the listings. And when I take the pictures for these, I really try to take pictures of all the corners, the bubble, everything that we can. And yes, this will be a Masters of the Universe new Eternia Whiplash. Let's shift gears just a little bit. This is a Disney ILY Forever Snow White accessory pack. This has a little dog, some accessories. We have probably eight or 10 of these. I'm gonna be putting these up to move. Now these two items have been in the store for as long as I can remember. I have several of each. These are BFF, best friends forever, surprises accessory kits. I'm not sure what these are exactly. I'd have to look at it a little bit closer. I just know they've been out here forever. This is a Disney Encanto magical music thingy. I've heard this song so many times in the store. I'm surprised I don't have it memorized. I still have a bunch of these. Wow, that's super loud. I still have a bunch of these. They've come in each target load. Sometimes it'll be like five, sometimes it'll be like six, but there are plenty of these to go around. I feel like I've been listing for hours and hours and not a whole lot feels like it got accomplished. I don't know how many items I got up, maybe 20, but it takes a little bit longer to list than I anticipated. I did say yesterday that I would not be selling Funko unless maybe it was a higher priced Funko or if it was a Funko that had been sitting here for a long time. But I'm gonna kind of retract my statement on that and I'm gonna tell everybody why. The Funko listings will come if I have time. That's probably the best way to say that. If I have listed the other things that I can list in the store and I have time, I will list Funko. I kind of went hardcore on that and said, ooh, I'm not gonna be listing Funko, when in my mind I probably should have just said, Funko will list as time allows. I just wanted to clarify that as we continue forward. That's gonna be a video. I will be dropping the link to the eBay down below. Be sure to comment on the video, let me know what everybody's thinking. Like, share, subscribe, it really helps the channel. I really appreciate that. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace.